Good well, the World Press Photo of the Year is a global competition that honours a press photographer whose visual creativity and skills made a picture that captures or represents an event or an issue of great journalistic importance in the last year. Now, the exhibition can be seen in Auckland across July. And to share some of this incredible work, please welcome to the cafe, Craig Corrox from the Rotary Club of Auckland, who are presenting the show. Thank welcome you. back. It does not seem like a year ago that you were here talking about this very same thing, but I guess a lot of big events have happened this past year to shape this competition. 2016 was like the other years, full of stuff, but some really sad stuff. But the, the, the exhibition has some amazingly uplifting photographs as well. Mm. So uh, it, it's like the previous years, the last six years that we've run this. You know, you can walk around that exhibition. You can be reminded about some of the things that happened. Mm. Um, Just thinking about some of the big events, there's been, what, Syria, of course, yes. refugees, the Olympics. 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 Yep. It seems yes. like so long ago, the Olympics. Yes. Well, what Madness. are some of the categories in this competition? There are seven categories, and <clears throat> essentially they cover life, um, sport, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the, what we've got here is the first, second, and third prize across those 21 categories, Brilliant. plus a whole lot of other images. As how well. many how many um, entries do you receive roughly? The World Press receives um, about 80,000 entries Gosh. by 5,000 professional photographers from 126 countries. And how do they so vet them? How do they? Because you can't alter with great them. Great difficulty, can you? I think. <laughs> well, that's the thing about this competition, isn't it? You can't alter your your photographs. No, it's a it's absolutely prohibited. Fake news is not in this. Party. <laughs> Tell that to Donald Trump. It's capturing an image. Is it capturing a moment? It's capturing a moment, mm. and um, and without retouching. Which is, when you look at some of the images, you just think, how, how did they get that image? And in this day and age, with Instagram and everything, we're all used to putting a filter on everything. Well, the, well, this is a good thing, I think, with this photography competition, is that everyone is a photographer now with their cameras, but the art of actually taking a moment in time brilliantly, you guys at Rotary get to showcase it for us. So should we have a look at some of the photos? Let's do that. <laughs> Bless you, Bless you, <laughs> Excuse me, that's, the, um, that's the curry <laughs> getting to the back of my throat. OK, so the with. first one here, what have we got? Right. So this is a off-duty policeman. He assassinated uh, the um, ambassador for Russia uh, at an exhibition in Ankara. And um, it, 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 you look at that image and you think about that person as a policeman um, and what must have driven him to get to that point. It's mm. sort of a, a moment of madness. I don't know, but at the end of the day, mm. the image says it all. And craziness. Pretty uh, extraordinary too because of the fact that that photo's been taken because I would be running for cover. I wouldn't be standing there <clears> taking <throat> a photo of someone who had just, had just been shot. He didn't run for cover and he was shot um, uh, shortly after that photograph was taken. Right then, well there we go. Yeah. Uh, tell us about this next photo, taking a stand at Baton Rouge. Well this, this is, I, I think, is, is such a simple photograph. But here you have uh, a, um, a young uh, black woman confronting the police. Um, and um, I suppose what runs in my mind is what a disarming protester. Mm. Um, she was actually arrested um, but released without charge. And uh, I think, you know, the way she's dressed, her whole uh, stature, the way she's holding herself is just full of pride. And it's part of that whole Black Lives Matter um, mm. a movement, which we've seen so much of. I mean, the statistics are absolutely incredible you know a uh, young black person between the age of sort of 15 and 30 are nine times more likely to be assassinated or or or, or killed or or whatever um uh, by police um and this was over one of those trials Gosh. okay let's have a look at careta trapped in the nature division yes well this is actually my favorite um the color the the beauty and then you actually look into the image and, and it's really a haunting picture. We all know plastic in, in oceans is a terrible thing. These, this, is, this is an endangered loggerhead turtle uh, in Tenerife. And you sort of think that it's sort of dressed up. Um, but in fact, actually, the, this poor endangered mm. turtle has been caught up in fishing plastic fishing nets. It really is an image which I love because of the colour. Mm, it looks like movement. a fun image to begin with, but then you actually look, read a bit more into it. Exactly, and then you realise that he's yeah. this poor old guy 
This though, this is a fun image. This is Rio's <laughs> golden smile. Look at that. Yes, well this image is called golden smile. This is, this is Usain Bolt at the uh, Rio Olympics. Um, I think it should have been called bolted um, uh, because uh, he certainly bolted that race closed and, and, and uh, he looked around to say to the others, you know, um, Catch tough up any close yeah, 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 <laughs> tough luck. Yeah, 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 tough luck. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, well, this is uh, one of the images relating to um, the movement of refugees. I mean, again, what terrible conditions what drives people to go to these lengths to leave their home, to leave the safety, which is no longer safe, and then take these perilous journeys. Mm. Who do you hope is going to come and see this exhibition? Well, we have a lot of schools coming through, which, which obviously from an educational point of view. Um, last year, uh, the, uh, it, was, it was our sixth, uh, this our sixth year. Last year, we had um, the, a lot of repeats. A lot of people coming back saying this is the fourth, fifth, sixth year. We're set in the most beautiful room in the Smith & Co's buildings, so you can plan a little day. It's cheap, um, 10 bucks for a student. Uh, Always good. Brilliant. Hey, Craig, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Uh, definitely worthwhile checking out. The World Press Photo of the Year exhibition runs from the 1st to the 30th of July at Smith & Co's, as we said. For details, you can go to worldpresshoto.co.nz. Yes, you can get lost in a world of emotion and thought-provoking pictures. Love it.